In this section, we are going to deal. Uh, we are going to look at the cost analysis of mushroom production. So, the initial investment for mushroom production, uh, we have land, whereby you are going to build your house. Uh, for the land, you can lease a land, or you can use uh, any available land you have. Uh, maybe a family land or uh, land that you own. For a quarter an acre, uh, you can lease uh, the land at 100 uh, US dollars for a period of a an year. And with that, you can be able to establish a good uh, mushroom farm. Then you have the house. Uh, for the house, you will need around 400 US dollars. Uh, that is inclusive the materials that you need for the building of the mud house and the labor that you will incur for the construction of the mud house. For 400 U, uh, US dollars, you can construct a mud house of around 7 meters by 3 meters, uh, which will uh, comfortably uh, fit uh, um, a magnitude of 50 bales of uh, mushroom production compost. So these are the two initials, uh, initial investment for mushroom production. Uh, you have to ensure that you have a land, then you have to ensure that you build a good mushroom house as we had shown you earlier in uh, the mushroom mushroom greenhouse construction. The next expense that we are going to look at are the recurring expenses. The recurring expenses especially for the compost uh, and establishing a mushroom growing farm. The first cost that you will incur for the composting process and uh, the establishment of the mushroom growing house. Uh, the first expense is uh, the bills. For wheat straws, 50 bills of wheat straws you require 65 US dollars. Remember for the first uh, for the first time farmers uh, we recommended earlier in our lessons that you begin with around uh, 50 bales of uh, wheat straws which uh, dictates the magnitude of the crop that you will have. So with 50 bales of wheat straws then we can trickle down go the ratios of what you require the components that you require and at what cost that you will have to incur so that you can establish the component uh, the compost and the farm that you will uh, you will be harvesting your mushroom from. Uh, the next component is molasses. Molasses 20 liters. Uh, for 20 liters you are at a cost of five dollars. Uh, the next component is cotton seed cake uh, 50 kg at a cost of 25 uh, US dollars. The next component is chicken manure. For chicken manure you require 400 kg. Uh, for 400 kg at a cost of 30 dollars. Uh, the next component is urea 12 kg at a cost of 10 dollars. Uh, the next component is MOP or murate of potassium, uh, 15 kg at a cost of $15. The next component is agricultural lime, uh, 50 kg at a cost of $6. Uh, the next component is gypsum, uh, 50 kg at a cost of uh, $14. Uh, the next component are uh, spawns or the seeds that you require for the planting, uh, 15 liters at a cost of uh, hundred and twenty dollars the next expense that we're going to incur are the harvesting and packaging expenses for panets you need a thousand pieces uh, 250 gram panets uh, at a cost of fifty dollars uh, then you need a cleaning film uh, which you use to wrap the the mushrooms on the panets you need two rolls of uh, cleaning film at a cost of 24 us dollars the next uh, expense that you will incur are the uh, the kitchen wind scale at a cost of 15 US dollars. For mushroom production, we try as much as possible to produce organic mushrooms uh, without using pesticide. But sometimes uh, there are incidences whereby a farmer may incur uh, some infection on their mushrooms. So sometimes we can incur cost of uh, uh, insecticide and pesticide and fungicides, whereby we try as much as possible to eliminate the fungicide which can infect in the mushroom crop as they grow. For fungicide, uh, for 100 ml of uh, fungicide, you need uh, you can incur a cost of three US dollars. Uh, for insecticide, for 100 ml of uh, uh, insecticide, you need uh, you can incur a cost of four US dollars. After three months, uh, the expected yield of um, of 50 bales magnitude of uh, compost, you expect a yield of around 250 kgs. That will translate to around uh, 1,000 pieces of panets, uh, 1,000 pieces of 250 grams panets. You can expect to sell uh, a kg of uh, mushroom at a cost of uh, 6 US dollars. That will translate to 1.5 US dollars uh, for 250 grams of mushrooms.
so the total sales revenue for 250 kg of mushroom uh, translates to around 1500 us dollars this will leave you with a net profit of around 1000 us dollars after removing expenses of around 400 to 500 us dollars remember these are just estimates uh, depending with where you are you can have different cost of different materials and also the sales of uh, the mushrooms will vary from different places uh, around the continent around the world different countries may have different costs so that will be the cost of uh, the compost process uh, what you require and at what cost every time you begin a new crop